another awesome Pokemon showdown battle, hopefully. So today we are going to be doing a Pokemon showdown battle, as you can see, I think this is number five. And it's been a while, about a week since my last play session. I did about five battles, four or five battles, and they've all gone up. And it was about a 1-3, lost one, I think, or 1-3, lost two. I can't remember. Something like that. And we're going to be doing some more today. We're using the same team. Nothing really changed. Well, it actually has been a lot of change. And I'll, I'll go through it in a second. But uh, our updates as normal. I was planning to do Pokemon Coliseum today, but complications got in the way so I didn't have time to do it so it's kind of unfortunate so we're doing this instead because these are very easy for me to do and very easy to upload and I can do a lot of them within the space of an hour or so so we're gonna do this and last time I used this team I believe it was the last time I used this team we had a fortress here and we had hidden power fighting here and I'll go through it so the core of the team is still the same, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it and explain it in detail. So this is gonna be a lot. This is probably gonna be a 20 minute video probably because I'm gonna spend a while explaining this. But this is the team, and it's called what I call the Trinity. All right, and the Trinity is a set of three. In my eyes, it's a set of three pokes that can take combined together can take any hit in the game, and then allow you to sweep later on based on your team. So my Trinity here is the Blissey. The Gliscor and the Mew, and together these guys complement each other so well. I know a lot of people, like especially in fourth gen, it was Scar Bliss where you'd use Blissey and Skarmory, and you could basically take any hits uh, in those two pokes. But as a player of me, I like to have a backup one, and that's where Mew comes in. And you can see in its stats, it can pretty much, pretty much take any physical hit, and it can take a lot of special hits as well, but mostly physical hits. Because I don't really need it to take special hits as well. I have Blissey. So you pivot around these two and you take hits. And that, that's the general idea. Uh, so what we got on this Mew. This is the new guy. It's completely my own set. And this is still an OU as you can see. And Mew's in UU. Which I believe it shouldn't be. Because it's got a massive move point. It can do anything it wants to. And you'll see it's, it turns out to be my MVP of the team. Like it wrecks everything. So we have knockoff because uh, the whole idea is to use my trinity to block hits, gradually wear them down, take their items off, and then bring in Puff the Magic Dragon to kill everyone. And that's the basic principle of the deck. So we knock off, get rid of their choice scarfers and all that so that my Puff can come in and take everyone out. We got Roost to regen, U-turn because it's my broken move. And then Raw, I was originally using Stealth Rocks but I eventually decided to move that to uh, Gliscor because I wanted Raw to get rid of um, setups like Swords Dances and Dragon Dances and especially Cloisters. They're bringing Cloisters on this on Mew expecting to wall it then they'll go Shell Smash and I'll just go Raw and push them out and it's, it's amazing if you've already got rocks up from Gliscor. So that, that's the basic principle you, and then U-Turn is really good on Mew because you take a hit and you switch out into something else that can't take a hit like Thunderous. And speaking of Thunderous, we've changed his move pool slightly. Um, originally it was Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hidden Power, Fighting, and something else. Which I can't remember. Oh, it was Grass Knot, yeah. So what we've done, we changed it around. We've gone for Hidden Power Ice this time. Because I really, like, Gliscors would come in unsurprisingly against it. And I would, wouldn't be able to use these. Hidden Power Fighting wouldn't one-shot it. So... I've gone for Hidden Power Ice just to take it out. I kept. I, just, I, I don't really like Focus Blast because I don't like missing. So I kept the Grass Knot on for ground types that bring it in. Like predict, like saying, oh, he's going to go for the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, I'm going to bring in Hippeldon or something. And, I'm, and then go Grass Knot and one-shot it. So that's the idea behind that. And then Puff's the same. Fire Punch with Therophorns and stuff. Sizzle's the same as a backup priority sweeper compliments puff and the whole team works really well so i'm gonna build a new team but i really like this team so we're gonna do a couple more battles with this team i'm gonna probably do quite a lot here today so we'll we'll see we'll see how we go i'm hoping to get some good battles and it shouldn't take too long to find a game so we will see what we get hopefully not another pikachu that wrecks my team again like that last one okay we got a sun team which is okay is that too loud uh that's alright, that will do. Alright, so he's probably going to lead with the Ninetales potentially. So I always seem to like to lead with Mew. 
So we'll, we'll roll with that. So there's the nine tails. For the safe switch. You might willow SP, which will be fine. So I'm going to go for a knockoff. Knockoff's always good. Get rid of their item. And again, he can't predict what my Mew's going to do. Oh, there we go. The nasty pot. That's all right. Because I can easily switch into Bliss and wall it. Got rid of a focus sash. Okay. I can phase it out now. Oh, he's got the dark pole. So that's, okay. that's interesting. So phase it out. In comes the Volcarona. I kind of want to roar again but he's probably going to go for the kill here so we'll go into blissy thunder wave i think that's a good plan yeah out predicted yeah i thought he was going to go for quick dance but he's probably going to go for that to kill me and then because he knows what i have so this way i can do stuff oh wait wait he's got the dog tree doesn't he crap um shall we fire off an ice beam yeah, let's go for an ice beam, expecting the Doug Trio. No, not the Doug Trio, okay. Wonder why he brought that in. That's rather interesting. Oh, it's leftovers, so it's not choice. Uh, let's go for Protect, see what he wants to do. I'm not sure. Will I wish? Okay. This is fine with me. It has natural cure, so I'm going to go for a wish here because it's a free turn. I don't care if I get burned. I have natural cure. Misses, not a big deal. So, he's not, he doesn't, I don't know what he's going to try and do here. Oh, wait, he doesn't have leftovers. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong bit, don't I? Okay. Um, should we just go for it again? Why not? I don't know why you're trying to do that. It has natural cure, bro. I know it's not going to do a lot, but he's going to have to switch at some point here. I'm just going to go for it again. Seeing if he wants to switch. Oh, because I'm expecting the Doug Trio switch. So. Eventually I'll kill it. Which will be nice. So I'm going to go for a wish here. And he's done this bullshit. I hate this thing when people try and kick you. And he's gone for a pain split. Okay. So again, I'm going to... Protect? Or shall we... I Go for Ice Beam again? In case he switches? No? Okay. Oh, he's alive? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, there we go. Okay. Interesting. Probably Ice Beam was probably a bad move because I want it... We'll just sit here all day, I suppose. Looking at his team, he doesn't have a solid check to it besides the dog trio, which I would have thought he would have brought in by now. So we're going to go for a protect here. Get to full. I'm going to try and set up another wish to switch into Mew to heal it, which would be awesome. I'm kind of wanting to go to Gliscor. It has Levitate, though, doesn't it? Yeah. So Gliscor couldn't really do a lot to it. It has Will-O-Wisp, but... Should we just go into Gliscor now and see what happens? He's not go not going to go for Will-O-Wisp here, so I'll get my Toxic Orb if all else fails. There we go. So I'll get my Toxic Orb. Again, I'm going to get up rocks here. I don't think... I don't know what he would do to me. I can pretty confidently take a hit from it. Although it probably has the fire move. Should we just put up rocks and see what happens? Pain split, that's okay with me. I get three rocks and I can always protect. So I don't want to do damage to it yet. So I want to, because it will just pain split all over the place. So I'm going to protect to see what he wants to do. Overheat, okay, that's nice to know. So that's his fire move. So now we can go back into balls. As, we, as Blissey is, is is cool like that. Wow, that did a lot. Jeez. Even in the sun, that must be like a very high special attack. So again, I think he's going to switch here. It would be, it would be pretty silly not to. So... He's got to bring a dub trio in at some point here. So let's just go for it. No, he still wants to go for the Will O Wisp, okay. <laughs> man, this is silly, man. He just doesn't want to do anything, yeah. 
So we just go for a wish, then we can protect, and we'll be and we'll be fine. I'm kind of tempted to bring Thunderous in in a minute, and, like wreck shop, I suppose, because yeah, he's not doing much, not doing much at all. That's fine. That wouldn't have taken me out. This is your minus drop. Shall we just go into it? Should we just go into it? We could bring in Puff. Puff and not Puff will have Dragon Scale. Not Dragon Scale, Marble Scale. Let's just go into this, expecting the Thunderbolt. Pain Split, that's okay. So now... Yeah... Let's Volt Switch out. See how much it does, 29. And then we can bring in. He's going to go for the. He's going to be going for the fire move here. So uh, that take a hit, and then there. Yeah, that will work. That will work. Sponge that like nobody's business, and now you're going to die, sir. That looks like it will take out. It will do a sub not substantial chunk to everything on his team, with the exception being. Heatran, pain split. Okay. Oh, five percent. Balls. Nice lane. Just go for it again. There we go. He's taking him out. Wow, that was annoying. <laughs> okay. Okay. We we solid. Whatever he brings in will get hit by rocks, and I'm probably going to switch. If he brings in Dugtrio, that will really suck. So, mm, maybe I'll take a hit. He should bring in the Dugtrio. Because this is the only time that Dugtrio is good. And he's just burning his time up. I hate it when people start these games. It's like so stupid. You have some patience. You need time to think. Alright, I'm not quite sure why he's brought that of all things in. Um... I would like to fire punch that. That would be nice. Growth, that is okay. I am okay with this. So we will wish to see what he wants to do. Yeah, that's fine. I know I can take one hit from it, so we'll go for the Thunder Wave. We can then paralyze that. Potentially get some power hacks going on. And then I can I can just bring in Puff in a minute and go from there and fire punch it for the kill. So let's just see how much an ice beam does. 39, okay, so it should be at about 10%. I can take that. That's fine. Oh he's a life orb one as well. Well, I don't really want to lose Blissey right now, so I'm going to protect again. Get some. Oh, I got the power hack, so that would have been nice. Meh! Um. Can't switch it indirectly, so. Go for the ice beam, you'll probably. You'll, I think you'll live with 1% health after life orb. Oh no, I took him out, okay. So yeah, I want to keep this guy alive because it walls his team besides Doug Trio. It's probably going to come in now. Yeah, that's fine. So now, we'll, again, we'll just get the health back a little bit. And I have an idea here, right? I have an idea. Oh, right, I'm not going to be faster, am I? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we can bring in Puff and Fire Punch everything. We can bring in Gliscor. Yeah, we can bring in Gliscor. Or we could bring in Mew. Mew can wall him. Oh, Mew can take hits all day. See if he wants to stay in. Because I'm, I'm pretty confident I can take a hit from that. I'm, yeah, he doesn't want to risk it. That's fine with me. And he has the balloon, that's okay. I get to go to full. 
no really, I don't really not need to knock that off. I can just U-turn out. Oh, I could roar, but I'd rather just U-turn out. Fire blast. Cool. Cool. So now we got rid of his balloon. We can go into... No, I don't want to go into that. Uh, we could bring in that Thunderbolt. That might take him out. But if he brings in Doug Trio again, that'll screw me. Should we bring in this? No. It's not in a range where Extreme Speed will take it out, so... We'll go for... We'll go for Fluffy. And... Volt switch out. This is a, that dog tree is really causing me some problems. So, could volt switch? If he brings it in, that's probably game, but we'll go for it anyway. No, he didn't want to bring it in. Okay. That works. So he's not, he's probably going to go for the fire move again here. So we should death fodder you, get free switch into this, and then I can take everything out. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a plan to me. Would have been amazing if he missed. Now we can bring in Puff for free. We can extreme speed for the kill. No! He lived! And he's hit three fire blasts in a row. Nice. I was sure he must be like max defense or something. That's ball bad. Okay, well we can just bring in Sizzle then I suppose. Oh, I was sure that would take him out. 1%! No way! No way did he live that! How does he take that? I have no idea how he took that. And this guy's going all, all Mr. Mr. Constant here. I'm just going to ignore him. <laughs> I don't think I've lost just yet. We'll, we will see. I can still pull this back. It's going to be tough, but man, that 1% might have won in the game. That 1% there, because if we didn't, I could have the bullet punch of the thingy. That's fine, I can take a hit from you. I can ice fang you. He can put up rocks, that's okay, I think. Wow, I miss! <laughs> the hacks! The hacks! Wow, and he's going to pussy out, okay. Again, I suppose I should have to stay in here and see if I'm faster. Which I'm probably not. Might be. If I am, I'll take it out. Nope. I can take one out, though. Crypt didn't matter. I would have taken him out easy. Whatever he brings, as long as he doesn't bring a Volcarona, I'm okay. If he, he could, he's probably going to bring Volcarona and set up for game. Which would be lame. Yeah, took fifty percent upon entry. Can we just go for it? It's yeah. If he doesn't quiver dance, I will outspeed him and take him out. So we'll do that. So there we go. This is going to be interesting. I think Fluffy will be okay if he goes for quiver dance. I win. If he goes to take me out, I think I'm still okay. If as long as an I hidden power ice takes him out, which I think it will. It's hard to say. And he was going all I've lost earlier, and I don't. I'm like, oh, he's he's thrown it away. He's thrown it away. As long as this takes him out. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. My God. That was ridiculous. Jesus. Man. One percent away from killing it. <laughs> no way. No way. No way did you live that. That's bollocks. 
I'm just going to keep earthbreaking him, forcing him to kill me. Alright, there we go. So, I have to hope I'm faster. Because I'm scarfed, I'm not sure. That's bollocks, I should have won that. <laughs> That's absolute crap. So, am I faster? You got very lucky. And it didn't this game. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> that one percent. I'm gonna leave. I don't want And you were very boring, okay. But I hope you enjoyed that battle. That was that one percent that always happens to me. <laughs> can't believe that. Oh dear. Okay, well, I think I know the title for this video. But Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's battle. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and don't forget to stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.